नमस्ते वेलकम टू शब्द योग शब्द योग एज द वेरी टर्मिनोलॉजी ऑफ दिस सीरीज सजेस्ट इज अबाउट द शब्द और द वर्ड्स ऑफ योग शास्त्र एस्पेशली इनिशियली द फोकस विल बी ऑन द शब्द और द टर्मिनोलॉजी फ्रॉम द योग सूत्र the words of yoga sutras will be analyzed and in the analysis of the words from yoga sutra three dimensions will be taken into consideration the three dimensions that are looked into in the process of this shabda yoga analysis are the etymology the lexicon and also the textual occurrences briefly etymology normally the etymological derivation of sanskrit terms especially the yogic terms has probably the three components the root word the suffix and the prefix so basically the root word and suffix will be present for almost all terminologies depending upon the words the words may or may not have prefixes so in what is the meaning of the root word in what meaning is the suffix added to the root word and then what is the additional meaning that is brought in by the prefix all these aspects will be analyzed under the etymology dimension of shabda yoga this will provide a solid grammatical background for the yogic terminologies taken up for analysis now the second dimension that will be looked into as part of shabda yoga series for each and every yogic terminology is the lexicon in understanding the meaning of any word etymology of course contributes a lot the prefixes suffixes the root meaning etc but at the same time the meanings of the words are not merely dependent on the etymology alone as per the sanskrit grammar we see that conventions conventions of usages of the terms also add meanings to terminologies which may not be brought to light by the etymology alone so the conventional meanings are brought about by the lexicons so which may be beyond the grasp of the etymology so because language is used words are used by people so when they use across centuries in the convention of usage newer and newer dimensions of meanings might have got added and uh, there are lexical uh, treatises like amarakosha which have attempted to collect the possible meanings both derived from the etymology and also the conventionally associated meanings with terminology so those approaches or those ideas which may not be covered by etymology will be covered by by looking into the lexical entries for the words that are taken up for discussion under shabda yoga and finally where do these words occur basically as it was mentioned the terms will be taken up from yoga sutra the self same terminology may have appeared more than once in the yoga sutra itself for example the word vritti vritti yoga chitta vritti nirodha so in the first place we see the occurrence of the word vritti but in the later sutras also in later chapters also the self same word might have occurred and it may have acquired various contextual meanings in the text so that will be analyzed to support to embellish to clarify the meanings of yoga sutra and even contrast uh the meanings of the words in yoga sutra 
the appearance of the self same terminologies in texts like bhagavad gita and hatha yoga pradipika will also be looked into so that one can as i mentioned compare and contrast the differences or consonances or the shade variations in shade of meanings of the yogic yoga sutra terminology which in turn will help deepen the understanding of the terminologies of yoga sutra so this is the background that i wanted to present about shabda yoga so with this idea in the mind let us explore the vast universe of shabda yoga welcome swagatam <laughs>